Champagne toasts are common at weddings, birthdays, and many other special occasions. But if the cork isn't secured properly, it can pop off at the wrong moment. So champagne manufacturers have developed hoods and foils to keep the bottles closed until the right moment. The foil covering that protects the cork is part of the iconic champagne look. Unwrapping it is like opening a special present. Underneath the foil is a wire hood and disc that keeps everything in place. The flat discs begin as thin sheets of steel. A suctioning device transfers the sheets to a printing machine. The machine slices the sheets into strips. Then the suctioning device moves the strips to the next step in the production line. It positions the strips on a machine that quickly punches out the round disc components. The wire hoods are made out of galvanized steel. A series of large bobbins feed the steel into a multi-phase machine. The wire is coated with colored lacquer for increased protection and aesthetic appeal. On a rotating carousel, the machine twists two horizontal strands of wire. It leaves enough room for a vertical loop between each set of twists. Next, the device twists the vertical loop. A blade cuts the wire in between each newly formed cross. Then, a mechanism removes the crosses and transfers them to the next stage of production. A machine shapes the bottom of the crosses in three steps. First, it pinches the wire together at the four extremities. Then it forms a bend. And finally, it folds them over to create a hook. A device folds the feet up and hooks them onto a wire circle called a belt. The wire structures are ready for the disc insert. A press forces the discs into a die to create rounded caps. Finally, the machine inserts the newly formed caps into the wire structure. The champagne wire hoods are now complete and ready for their bottles. It takes 15 steps to build a wire hood. Incredibly, the machine can build each hood in under two seconds. The wire hood holds the cork in place, but the polylaminate foil wrapper protects it from the elements. This specially made foil is composed of polythene film, sandwiched between two sheets of aluminum. A high-speed cutter trims the edges. Then the poly laminate rolls through a bath of varnish. The polythene film is made out of granules. They dye the poly laminate gold using a high-speed printing process. The poly laminate foil is coated with specially formulated ink that dries instantly under ultraviolet light. The foil transfers to a perforation machine. This allows customers to easily unwrap the champagne bottle. A hot stamping machine adds decorative elements and the brand name to the foil. Another device adds a strip of glue to one edge. A machine cuts the foil. Then a device equipped with cylindrical rods called mandrels wraps the foil into cones. The glue strip holds the cone together. A machine places a disc on top of the cones. They crimp the ends to increase the cone's rigidity. Then, a vacuum sucks the completed cones off the mandrels. No bottle of bubbly is complete without a hood and foil. This factory quickly produces both in any style or color the winery requests. The factory speed and versatility allows them to produce wire hoods and foils for 50% of the sparkling wines made in France.